Hey guys! So first off, no, you did not accidentally come across a tech channel. You're not going crazy. No worries. Because that's not what you came here for. You came here for gaming and some laughs and maybe a little bit for me. I mean, just look at me. Why wouldn't you be here for me? So no worries, because even though I'm going to be talking about and showing off my new phone, the OnePlus 6T in Thunder Purple, it's still a gaming-centered video. And that's because the OnePlus 6T was made specifically with mobile gamers in mind. So overall, pretty much this is what I would look like if a wizard turned me into a smartphone. <laughs> Now, full disclosure, this is sponsored by OnePlus. They sent me the phone. They reached out to me to see if I was interested in showing off the phone to you guys. And after talking with them and seeing the phone, I was like, yes, you guys would love this phone just as much as I do. So thank you OnePlus for sending me the phone and sponsoring this video. But without further ado, we're gonna unbox this bad boy. So this of course is the box. This is me opening the box. And here is the phone. But the real magic happens when we turn it around. Oh my god. I told you guys, like, look at this next to me. Like, it's literally my hair on the back of a phone. It's me. It's me. This is me as a phone. It's all about gaming and it's got this beautiful purple ombre. We're literally twins. <laughs> So like I mentioned, this is the new Thunder Purple color and the glare on it does this cool like S shape. All right, turning my phone twin on and there it is. So this phone has a 6.41 inch optic AMOLED display with customizable color settings, perfect for the best quality when watching movies and of course playing games. Plus the screen has a built-in fingerprint scanner to unlock your phone in addition to a face scanner. This way there's no added bezels and you'll even notice that the notch is a tiny little raindrop shape so that this way it's pretty much all screen. Its battery is massive with a 3700 milliamp hour battery, which allows you to play games much longer that would normally drain your battery super quick. So back to what's actually in the box with the phone. It comes with its signature fast charge block and the cable, which gives the phone a full day's charge on just half an hour of charging via its fast charge USB-C charger. Also in the box comes the little dongle for your wired headphones. And it also included a case, which I actually found really surprising in a good way, but also super necessary. And and really nice to get with your phone. Now, for some reason, you're not a fan of the Lauren colored, AKA Thunder Purple color phone. Then it also comes in midnight black and mirror black. All right, so that was my first ever like tech unboxing and spec overview. How did I do? Did I do all right? I watch enough tech reviews on YouTube. I feel like I should be a pro. But now we finally get to get into the gaming side of things, which is what you're all waiting for anyway. So like I mentioned, the OnePlus 6T was actually made with mobile gamers in mind, and it actually has a gaming mode, which I'm gonna be turning on for the rest of the video. So the gaming mode turns on gaming DND &D network boosting and an optional battery saver. Gaming DND &D prevents notifications from popping up on screen during gameplay, which is gonna be amazing for me when I'm recording my app gameplay videos. The OnePlus 6T runs on Oxygen OS OS, which is a light and highly customizable version of Android, optimized for speed and smooth experience. Smart Boost improves app cold start speeds for apps you use all the time and works particularly well for apps requiring large amounts of data. OnePlus phones are known for being the fastest and smoothest on the market with less dropped frames, less lag, and it won't slow down over time. Networking boosting prioritizes gameplay over other apps to prevent lag in online games. So when I was approached to do this video, I was trying to figure out a good way to go about it to fit it into my content that you guys are used to. And I thought what better way than involve you guys in what games I should test on this phone. So on Twitter, you may have seen that I tweeted out asking you guys what your current favorite mobile app games were. Because one, if you guys are playing it, then you probably wanna see how it performs on this phone. And two, because I'm always looking for new games to play. And especially now that I have an actual dedicated gaming mobile phone, I really wanna get more into mobile gaming, especially because so many of you guys mobile game and or enjoy my mobile gaming videos. So let's go through the list. All right, so one of the app games that I saw the most from Twitter was that you guys play Minecraft Pocket Edition, which I have actually never played. So I figured it was a good time to try it out real quick. 
boy. So here's me, this is my name. Feel free to add me. I, I'm not exactly sure how Minecraft Pocket Edition works, but I plan to figure it out now that I have it. And I actually was playing around on it and bought a map from the Minecraft Microsoft Store. The Honey Hill Farm template. So yeah, this map that I found turns Minecraft into like a farming simulator. I mean, how much cooler? Kind of like Stardew Valley, I guess? Ah, welcome to the farm, kiddo. Oh my God, it's even got a plot line. Can't wait for you to start learning the ropes around here. Ooh, and I can milk the cows, cool. And apparently I can also drive trucks in this. Ooh. Oh, look at it. Definitely not supposed to be driving over all the farmland. Oh, 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 oh. All right, we're getting out of the truck. <laughs> oh my God, there's beehives. What? Oh, a chest. What? I'm going to take all of your emeralds. Oh, I got some honey too. <gasps> <laughs> oh, I think the guy just witnessed me taking all of his emeralds. But yeah, it runs just as smooth as if I played it on PC. This is so cool. Gotta love that farm life, yo. Is this my house? <gasps> Ooh. Ooh, all my tools. What? It's like I infiltrated somebody else's house that's already been playing. Is this fair? Is this cheating? What game am I playing? Is it Minecraft or is it Stardew Valley? I don't know. Okay, I'm already kind of hooked on Minecraft Pocket edition. That's so cool. Okay, so I think I can like, you know, do normal Minecraft stuff out there, out yonder. And then when I'm done, I can come to the farm and it's kind of like I have a home base all set up with like an extra plot storyline. Definitely loving adding maps to Minecraft. This is my first time trying that too. Look at my house. Look how pretty. All right, well, first game on the phone, super smooth sailing and the phone is not getting hot at all, which is also a huge plus. All right, on to the next game. And then of course, a ton of you guys wanted me to check out the Sims Mobile, which I have played in videos before, so we won't focus on it too much. I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like, and also that I had to make a whole new character because it's running on a different operating system. It couldn't bring over my save file, which is totally fine. But look, I'm back to having a really subpar house. Boo. Just means we got more to do. I mean, look at my bed. I'm literally sleeping on planks. No mattress. Nope. Can't afford a mattress yet. Oh, is that what we're about to buy now? Yep. Oh no, it's a fridge, because fridge is definitely more important. That wasn't sarcasm, it actually is. I can sleep on the couch, it's fine. Oh yay, am I finally gonna get a mattress? Oh wow, I'm so talented. Look at this. And it's purple, it's like they knew. And yeah, this is pretty much what The Sims looks like. Like I said, I have other videos playing with The Sims Mobile. But let me know too if you guys want me to continue this as a regular series. Ooh, even my plum bob is like purpley pink. All right, next game. All right, a few of you said Fire Emblem Heroes, which I had actually not heard of, but it's a Nintendo game, ooh. And the gameplay style kind of reminds me of War Tanks, I think it was called. But look how cute the characters are. I already unlocked a bunch and I've only been playing a little bit. Here's my friend ID if anybody wants to add me. Let's show you guys a battle. All right, here's my team. We gotta break this wall, kill this team. Yeah, knock that wall. Yeah, knock that wall. There's a battle. I just love the artwork on this. It's so cool. Oh, I destroyed her. Yeah, this definitely reminds me of like that. I love turn-based games and RPGs and simulators. Those are like my main ones. All right, so now we can shoot this person out of the sky. Destroyed. Shoot this person out of the sky. Goodbye. And now you. And I win. Okay, so the game I got requested the most was probably Gotcha Life and or Gotcha Verse. And I checked it out before the game, but I'm a little confused on what exactly I do. So I think I have to like make a character is the main part. So hold on, let me make my character. All right, here's my character. I used a preset and then like customized the heck out of her. She's so cute. But like now that I made her, what do I do with her? Go to the studio. Oh, Lancia. Oh, oh, this is how you guys make your little skits and stuff. Let's talk to you. I'm hungry. I want some snacks. Me too, girl. Me too. Oh my god, you look like Leafeon, the Pokemon. Oh my god. Friendship level three. I really love bubble tea. Oh, okay. Bye. Okay, so we just talk to people and increase friendship levels and things. Okay. Games. Oh, there's little mini games. What's this? 
<gasps> I thought I got to use my character. Ow, okay, I guess moons are bad, stars are good. Well, this is cute. Where's my character though? She, ah, she was made for this game. Okay, so I guess you just like keep increasing your level. This, that's cool. I don't think it's my type of game, but at least I can make super, I bet you most of you just make the cute characters, right? And then you make little like storylines. I bet you. Well, this is my character. She's the cutest. You can't dispute it. All right, so this is the Kingdom Hearts app game, which I actually have not played even though I'm a big Kingdom Hearts fan and can't wait for the new game to come out soon. So this app game might be able to, uh, you know, hold me over till the new one comes. But I thought this phone was perfect for it. And I have to select a union to join. I mean, I guess I gotta go with the unicorn. Uh, yeah. Look it. Keyblade holds the power of light. This is so cute. Tack him. Get him. Oh no, I'm gonna be addicted to this. I can tell already. My character's so cute. Look at her. She just jumps on everything. Oh no. Get them all. All right, we're supposed to use Donald. Go. Whoa. Now Goofy. Yes. Got him. Yay. I love my character so much. All right, well, thanks for reminding me about this game, guys, because I am definitely going to be playing this for a while. Oh, and the cutscenes. Look at my character. Look at her. All right, it's gone to one last game. So this last game, I'm really mad at you guys for showing me because it's one of those like mindless tap games. Oh my God. And it's so freaking cute and addictive. Like all you really do is you go fishing. Oh, there's a special one over there. See, see what I mean? I got to get it. Come on, kitty. Come on, kitty. Oh my God. All right, fine. Let's slow it down. Got it. What? Ooh, all my bottles are open. So yeah, you get these bottles in the water and then they go to this island and it, it's a happy, smiling, kawaii chest and you open it and you either get coins or you get a new kitty outfit like this bad outfit that I have one of my cats wearing and they fish when you're not even playing yeah see like I got a tiara open it oh my god it's a sushi costume <laughs> it's so cute yeah this cat on the side here just keeps fishing for me and you just keep collecting coins and keep collecting wood and then you build your boat like I was in a cardboard box to start out sometimes special stuff shows up oh like that special stuff shows up in the water and you can get like extra wood wood or extra coins or treasure. I hate you guys for showing me this game. Like it's so addicting and cute for no reason. Ugh. So just to wrap everything up, I really, really liked this phone. I mean, I know this video is sponsored, but I'm allowed to give my honest opinion of the phone and at its price point, which is starting at only $5.49, it's definitely one of the best mobile gaming phones out there. If not overall, a great phone. I was testing out this phone for days before I actually filmed this video, just to make sure I had enough time with it to give you guys as like my take on it. And compared to gaming I've done on other phones, this did not get hot at all. It's much lighter and not so bulky. So holding it didn't feel so awkward like it usually does for me. And on top of that, I spent hours playing games on this and the battery did not deplete anywhere near as fast as other phones that I've used. Overall, I really, really like this phone. I mean, obviously it's me as a phone. What's not to love about it? But if you guys are thinking of getting this phone or you have any questions that you think that I can answer being an owner of the phone, let me know in the comments below. Also, if there was any games I didn't test out in this video that you want me to know about, also leave that in the comments below. Or if you want some more spec details, information about the phone, I will also link that in the description below. Thank you so much OnePlus for sponsoring this video and sending me this awesome phone that I'm definitely gonna be using, especially to film my app gameplay going forward. As always, if you made it this far in the video and you're interested in seeing some more tech gaming related things, then make sure to leave a like before you go. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. I put out new videos every single day. And as always, I will see you guys soon.